In this video, we'd like to know what is the effect of using that on firm value. So let's start with the first example, which is we have no debt. Therefore, we call it unlevered value. So what do we mean by the word unlevered? Unlevered, it means that there is no debt, there is no leverage, there is no gearing. Therefore, if the firm doesn't have debt, so its value will be horizontal. This is the value of unlevered. Then what will happen if a firm started to use that? You know that the higher the debt, it means that the higher the risk, therefore our expected return will be higher. So we discover that the value of levered, remember that levered, it means that we use leverage. Leverage means debt, debt means gearing. All these are synonymous, which means we use that. So we discover that for the levered value, which means when a company uses that, its firm value increases till it reaches the maximum point here, and then it decreases again. Therefore, if you are a finance manager, what will be the optimum level of debt you need to use? You will use the debt that will maximize your firm value, which means at this point. Therefore, at this point, we will write it here as D star, which refers to our optimal amount of debt, our optimal debt level. And this differs from one company to another. And that's why here we need to use a theory called capital structure theory in order to get our optimal level of debt. And that's why we call it our optimum capital structure. Why? Because if we use any debt level, for example, if I do a debt level here, D1, it will give me a lower value here. If I use more debt, it will give me a lower value than the maximum. Therefore, our best level of debt is the one that will maximize our firm value. So the next point we need to explain here is why when we increase debt, we discover that firm value increases the levered value and then it decreases. Because here we have two forces. What are the two forces? The first one is, do you remember every time a firm uses debt, they need to pay interest on the debt. Where do we subtract the interest? We subtract it in our income statement. Consequently, if you look at the income statement, we have EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, minus interest, it will give us earnings before tax, minus taxes, it will give us net income. So the more we use debt, the more we pay interest, the less we pay taxes. And that's why here for the horizontal bottom, we refer to the value of unlevered firm. And then for the levered value, it increases because the impact of the tax shield. So what do we mean by tax shield? It means that every time we use that, we pay lower taxes. Consequently, we benefit from paying less taxes, which is called tax shield. So what will happen if we kept increasing the debt? Remember, when we increase debt, it will increase our financial risk Consequently, it will increase the probability of financial distress. And that's why we'll discover that the value of levered firm will start to decrease. Therefore, we could say that at this part here, the impact of tax shield is bigger than the impact of financial distress. And that's why the firm value increases. If I talk about the last part here, I discovered that the impact of financial distress is bigger than the impact of tax shield, and that's why the value lever decrease. What about at this point where we reach the maximum? The impact of tax shield is equivalent to the impact of financial distress. 